Well, I think the first thing is that the country was devastated by the casualties. It's a population of 8 million people. We have 60,000 dead, 175,000 wounded. That's almost a quarter of a million, or about one in 32 of the population of the country, killed or wounded, devastated in some way. And then you have their relatives at home who also suffer the loss. So a huge percentage of the population is, is affected directly by the war. Then there are people whose lives are disrupted in other ways. Uh, war factories, for example, attract uh, men and women from the farms to come into work. Higher wages, less hard work, you don't have to get up as early, more chances for social life in the cities. And the farmers, in many cases, are left without a labor force. Uh, they lose their sons and daughters to the urban scene, and that's devastating for them. Uh, if you're an ethnic Canadian, if you're not of British origin, uh, in English Canada, you're looked at as if you're a freeloader on the back of a nation at war. Uh, the soldiers view you with contempt because you don't feel a, any compulsion to volunteer. The civilians at home dislike you. And in fact, in 1917, in the general election, the vote is taking aw taken away from alien immigrants to Canada. It's a time of dislocation, a time of uh, industrial progress, but a time of blood, loss, change, too much change, too fast. It's an extraordinary four-year period that totally alters the way Canadians view themselves and view the world.